place where they told you what to chase they told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i be in my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself Hello everyone, it's Gigo here and welcome back to another motivational video of building a house in Ghana. If it is your first time seeing this project, this is the Hill Project and today's video is an exciting one. I'm very happy for this, you know, uh, episode because we begin a new chapter of the Hill Project which is the block lane of this particular project. It's been about I think two months now since we begin with this project and we've been working so hard on the foundation because of its challenges that you know we encounter on site because of the landscape now you can see how it looks flat you know with the foundation if you look behind this was a steep hill this is how it looks you know was even worse you know we've even dressed this you know slope a little bit to make it smooth for people to be able to walk up and down but before it was very rough as you can see we have to use yes. some of the uh, stones and sand to fill up some holes in there so that we can you know walk smoothly and you know some 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 vehicles can also come there but with a load it's very difficult so one challenging with this kind of you know property which is the hill or a land which is on the uh, steep slope you know you cannot get your materials on site so as you can see we ordered for 5,000 blocks and we have to carry all of them from here down there you, you can see the slope so this is where the blocks are and we have to take it all the way down there so it's not easy you know buying land or a property on the hill is very beautiful you get a beautiful view especially if you have a sea view and also you have a city view it's amazing but it comes with a cost you know so just prepare if you are buying a property which is or a land which is on the hill just know that it comes with some That's consequences and you have to be ready for it it is it's nice to have those kind of project though but hey it just comes with an extra cost which you have to consider in your budget so the next day the guys are still busy you know packing the blocks you know to the site because uh, it will be difficult to as the, the mason will be working while they are bringing the blocks it's a little bit difficult so try we use about two or three days you know just transporting the blocks to to the site and this is like i like i always keep saying these are all extra courses you know these are all extra costs that's why giving an uh, giving a cost breakdown of you know you know of uh, projects is a little bit you know difficult because some people really will work with the figures that you you give them you know if you give them a, it costs me this amount of money to build this you know this foundation for example then they are also expecting that if someone is about to build their project they try to use that amount of money to you know put themselves in that range it is nice to have an idea but sometimes people stick to that and they put pressure on other artisans and other workers and it's not really nice you know because some sometimes it's very difficult dealing with clients but hey when i get the figures i'll put it out there for you guys so that you just get an idea just an idea but that doesn't mean that it will cost you the same you know because for example if you should build this same house or you know, the same design in a flat land it will cost you way different you know the amount of you know iron rolls you will use and the number of blocks you use will all reduce you know it might be the same house the same shape but if the location is different it might cost you different you know so that is something that we have to consider you know when we are 
getting our estimate from the uh, engineers or the designers we have to take into consideration that our land also plays a role that's why it's important that before you begin you know before you get an estimate just ask the person preparing the estimate for you to go to your land and check whether it is you know whether it is a clay land sand, sandy or it is rocky you know that also helps a lot you know so that you know what goes into your foundation so as you can see the five thousand blocks are being you know uh, positioned on site and that also plays a key because you know if you have them positioned carefully strategically it is easy to work with it makes the works go very fast you understand because when you turn you just pick a block you place it you turn you pick a block you put your mortar you you place it you know so you see as as you can see it makes the work go very fast and all the blocks that we we packed right there is empty you know so working you know construction is all about management it's not just about the artisan being good at his job but it's also that the artisan knows economics and knows how to strategize you know when it comes to the to the work that will save you that money you understand so if you have someone who has an idea who has the experience some of these little tricks will save you a little bit money because for instance if they pack the blocks at one place you know and uh, the person laying the blocks will need someone to pass the blocks to him and that will be an additional cost so if you have maybe uh, 10 masons who are laying the blocks you need at least maybe five you know people that that have to pass the block but you see this guy was just going to pick the block himself because it's not that far from him so he just go himself pick it up which doesn't take much time but what most people is that them the masons they will be yes. there laying the blocks and they will allow one person to pass the blocks to them and that is an additional cost you know so these are things that we can learn and also share you know if you are building and you know if you get your videos and you see that is going on just raise an alarm you know just let them work you know one day just pack all the blocks closer to where you have to work and it makes the work so easy and the work goes so faster as, as you can see they are all independent you know they are all independent laying the blocks nicely you know and it makes the work goes faster so that's the most important thing that the work goes faster because the more days they come the more money they take they work by day and also i think some of them also work by the number of blocks that they lay in a day so that also helps so we should just take notice but hey back to today's work so the guys have laid three course now at the moment so they are focusing at one point when they are done they move to the next section so from here you can see the various rooms you can also see the shape of the house i really love the shape of this apartment you know it has these curves in there these sharp curves you know these corners and it's really unique you know i really like it i'm seeing this for the first time and it's really nice design so i'm really loving it and i can imagine the joy you know that the owner of this project will be having at the moment you know seeing all the hard work you know taking shape and i believe maybe in my next episode we'll have five cores high or maybe eight then we can see the actual shape of the house of the apartment itself because it's an apartment and uh, then we can also go through to see the various room and how large they are and that kind of stuff so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet kindly please do so so you don't miss out on our episodes i'm really curious what could be in these corners because the apartment has a lot of this kind of corners so i'm just curious how how uh, what will be in in that corners but i believe the owner of this project has his own plan and he has everything designed for a long time so 
he knows what he wants so this is the corners that i'm talking about here you see another one i believe the windows goes there i think, I think so because this is the picture this is how it looks at the end so it's a really nice concept You have your project you know if you're thinking of building in ghana it doesn't matter the location just let us know you can send me email i'll forward you to the contractor and then you can have discussion with him how you like your project you know to be taken and what you you want and yeah you discuss it with him and then you work together trust me this is one of the best team you ever meet you know the nicest people you ever work with you know it's all about communication as i always say anytime i meet people you know I, I meet people and i talk to them about what i'm doing on youtube i always tell them that don't just contact my contractor and just start talking about work you know start to build a relationship with him because that's how i see it's best to work with him so you understand him and uh, he also can understand you because sometimes he's a little bit strict with his work you know this is something that he has studied for you know he's engineer so he understands the engineer work and sometimes what we want in our designing might not support you know the kind of structure because one thing that he told me that you know no matter how you want your house to look like sometimes the structure will tell you where to put the windows you know some of these things the home designers don't know the the architects they don't they don't really know those things because you tell them that hey i need five bedroom and i need this floor that floor but then the architecture uh, the architects i mean has no idea where the house is going to be built so then he designed what you want he according to your description he, he designed something for you but then when you go to the ground the house will tell you hey you cannot put the windows here because your neighbor uh, entrance is right there or maybe your neighbor is too close to have that kind of windows because just imagine you have a wide win windows with glasses and then you have a big mansion right in front of you it makes no sense you know like it's only you that can see the glass from indoors but the beautification of it from outside for people to see the house from afar is being blocked so sometimes when you go on site that is where the work actually you know that is where the work actually counts it's not on the paper so that's why i always say that let someone go on the land to check it out for you and we've done that with some clients and trust me it has even helped a lot of our clients and i'll share that in my next episode because when we go to do our own you know search we find out that the land is not does not even belong to those people you understand so these are some of the things that we do extra to help our client which by just going to the land we can read the land when we get to the land we can know that hey this land has a problem and then we do our fishing and trust me we've saved a lot of people on the channel from from that you know so i'll end my video here thanks for staying with me till this far i really do appreciate your time spent on the channel next episode i believe we will go a little bit higher maybe we'll be done with the first floor second floor already then you see the shape of the house so don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and then i'll see you in my next episode Okay, do we...